Hey, what's up? It's DJ. Welcome back to Elm Creek, episode number 18 here in Farming Simulator 22. Today is our one year anniversary of owning this farm. We started in August and it is finally August again. And what a day it's going to be. Pallet auto stacking, bell auto loading with the TLX, and of course, a massive corn harvest of bajillions of liters. You won't want to miss it. If you like videos like this or just want to see more FS22 stuff in general, make sure you subscribe so that you don't miss daily farming simulator videos here on the channel. All that out of the way, let's jump right into year number two. So let's start year number two with some first person driving and some jittering. I am now fully integrated into patch 1.2. This is the first video that has been kind of full with that. And we've got a lot to do. We've got everything moved over. We've got pallets to pick up. We've got stuff to do. Stuff to do. So let's pick it all up. I forgot how to pick these up. <laughs> of course I did. Uh, let's say enable auto load. Yes, please. Please. Uh, let's see, we've got loading of Euro pallet. Yeah. Not giving me the option though, is it? Well, that's not gonna do it either. Huh. Well, that's not good. Well, it is looking like to me that the script that was there for auto loading doesn't work anymore. Very, very intriguing. That might cause some serious problems. <laughs> I mean, I'm cool with it. Doesn't mean it doesn't suck, though. That, that's pretty stinky, all in all. Whatever. Uh, we got stuff. It'll be fine. We'll be okay. We're only making a couple deliveries today, so at least there's that. Bruh, I can't even get into my own vehicle. That's dumb. Ugh, there's, there's some stuff that I wish was changed. Man, beep beep, daily honey delivery. Yeah, dude, I don't know what in the world's going on. Hey, oh, I see cereal and it's stacking on top of itself. All right, cool. So we can see down there, we've got honey in the building storage. Everything is looking nice. And we got cereal right here as well. Those look super not copyright at all. I love that. That's awesome. I'm going to see if I can auto load them with this trailer. Don't think it's going to work. Um, do the, let's say, do the straps just barely disappear? Oh boy. Maybe I should not have fully integrated myself into this after all. Yeah. So, uh, auto loading is just not happening. It's just not a thing right now. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to basically load all of this by hand. Not a problem is what it is. Hey, sometimes we've got chore days. Don't worry. Later today is going to be a whole lot of fun. We've got a wheat field to harvest. So that's going to be fun. Easy, but it'll be fun. And uh, we've also got a lot more going on. So cereal. I don't know anything about cereal. Yeah, I've been trying to check my uh, uh, keyboards as well. Let's go into this. Hey, it's actually showing uh, Fahrenheit instead of Celsius. Nice. Hey, where's the where's the crops at? Here we go. All right. Cereal. Show me cereal. Okay. <laughs> Goodness gracious. That's one heck of a price, isn't it? So it looks like March is going to be the best time to sell these. Uh, August, very low. Very low. Okay. So I'm going to, yikes, I'm going to take these. We're going to put all the cereal down below in the farm. And then I think it'll be about time to get ready. I was going to go around to the other productions and pick up stuff, but my auto load trailer's not working. So I could kind of care less. So I went ahead and went and picked up all the pallets because of course I did. Now I've got two sets of bells here. These have been sitting here for a couple days and they're ready to be put into the fermenter. These may have just been thrown in here. Can't confirm or deny that, but what I will confirm is this thing is awesome. Absolutely awesome. I am going to detach this trailer because I'm not gonna be using that trailer currently, but I am gonna use this. Now, this is the TLX Phoenix. This is the X50 X2 attachment, and we've kind of got everything set to go here with auto-loading bells. So, 
I think it's in the auto loading set right now. There we go. Um, I also don't know if all of these bells are bells or not because it picked up some from the other side and those aren't ready yet. And that makes this difficult. Why is the pickup so good on this? It's, it's awful. Ugh, and it just loaded them on top of here too, didn't it? Ah, uh, one more time. Let's see if we can do this one more time without causing problems, even though I'm so good at it. Nope. Over here. Tell you, I'm going to have to get used to doing auto load stuff, especially here on uh, Farm Sim 22. It's a little bit different than it is in 19. Uh, just a little bit, not too crazy, but it's just enough to really, uh, really get you moving. So let's go ahead and activate there. Yeah, you can see how far out it picks up. And we should be able to go over here and unload these straight onto the ground and be good. So we'll put them about right here. Yish. I think it's going to pop it back in. Yep, it will. All right. Hey, I'm, <laughs> I'm getting it figured out. Put it about right there. Drop it. Fermenter is filling up, but it's not full yet. So let's back up here and we'll get some more. And we'll try and back up towards this other one. Maybe we can keep from getting anything other than these two stacks currently. Doop, 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 doop. Got them. This is also why I didn't want to go with that trailer. Trailer's great for transporting stuff, but it's a little bit difficult when you're trying to get everything done in one go. There we are. Hey, gotta love it. Anybody having questions about the uh, TLX? Um, I think he was saying something about... Uh, it being close to ready, something like that. Just make sure you're paying attention to 82 Studios live streams and you'll probably know everything there is to know about the TLX Phoenix and the Winter Wolf and, well, anything that you need to know about these. Check that out. I love how quickly this thing auto picks these up. It's ridiculous. Uh, one other thing, I need to get this completely cleaned down. I know that the BGA is not gonna be able to handle everything, but I really, really, yeah, there it is. So it's full now. Uh, I really need it to be as cleared out as possible because we're going to be coming through here with silage, like actual silage, not like what we do silage. And we're, we're actually going to have like real silage coming in here <laughs> soon. And I really need all this stuff out of the way as quickly as possible. Now, before we get any uh, corn harvesting and chaff work and stuff like that, which by the way, we will be doing today. It's going to take me probably a couple hours to do. I might have to lease an extra combine just for our forge harvester just to get it all done, but we will be doing it. So I'm gonna swing through here. Oh yeah, got a new set of mowers with the new update. Love those mowers, by the way. I need to somehow get this header out there. You know what? I got an idea and I think this is gonna be about the only way to do it. We're gonna have to pull that out there with something else and uh and then just kind of hope that we can get in here at least with this combine all of these fences they're cool but man they make it really difficult to try and get around in there all right so there's that go ahead and leave that on right yeah do we have an extra tractor in here we do we've got quite a few extra tractors what do we want to take we got the john deere 8rx we got the case magnum you know what we haven't used a Toys Far Warrior in a while. Let's use this tractor right here. Love this thing. Uh, I think we did get a couple mods of these a few days ago. So if you are curious, yes, there are modified versions of these, which add some extra, uh, extra customization, things like that. Not too crazy or out of the way, but it is nice to see some stuff getting mods and, and things like that. So very cool there. We'll grab a hold here, and then we just need to be able to get this out i think this might be an easy way to do it and then swing this round to the right oh i got crop destruction turned on as well just like so i think it's gonna pull around don't clip nice and then i just need to get around this building and that's it by the way this is gertie's house i don't know if you guys know it's gertie's house thought to clutch about that he'll he'll tell you all about it Oh, still ran over some crop. I'm so sorry. And then we just dropped that there. Boom. 
Boom. Of course, I didn't put it right. Come on, DJ, you got this. <sighs> this, it's a fun let's play, right? Yeah, we're we're having fun here. We're having a great time. Tell people you're having a great time. Here we go. What do we got? Disable straw swath? Nah, we good. Let's go. This is a wheat field, so this ain't gonna take very long. And uh, I've probably already rambled on a tangent enough this episode, so I'm just gonna see if I can get this done as quickly as possible so we can get over to that big chaff field. Oh, that's gonna be fun. While the combine's doing all the work, I figured, you know what? Why don't we go ahead and get out there and make some bales? See if I can swing this bad boy. Oh yeah, no problems whatsoever, no problems. We'll come around here. I'm gonna try and hit this at a way where the uh, combine's not gonna have any problems. Let's go and unfold this. Bell's at 240 centimeters. That is perfectly fine with me. Unfolded, drop it down, turn it on. Turn on the beacons, let people know DJ's coming through and rock and roll. If you guys remember, I did make a modified version of this. So that's why it's going so much faster than you would expect. Let's pick up all this that we can. We'll come back to and do like double runs of the rest of it. But right here, I would much rather make this look nice, neat, organized, and exactly the way it should be. There we go. Cool. All right. So now for the rest of this, it's just going to be a lot of uh, go, go, go. Make some straw bales. Go, go, go. I'm fine with that. Rock and roll. Let's do it. So are you ready? Do you have what it takes? to push this piece of equipment. Uh, me too. Uh, I hope, me too, me too, me too, me too. Let's get this thing out of here. So what we've got is a modified version of the Cori or Orbis 900 on the front. We've got the, what is it? The modified version of Shootmaker Rapid 8400. This is the Windrow version. However, it doesn't have the Windrow. I didn't put that on here. Oh, this. This is going to be extra fun. So what I'm hoping here is that we're able to go ahead and start harvesting. So we're, I think, one stage away from harvest ready, which usually, at least in Farming Simulator 19, you could go ahead and, oh, yikes, that's that's a real crash counter. Uh, at least in 19, you could do this. Can we, I don't, Doug, I don't, I don't know if we could do this or not. Okay. Yeah, there's a noise back here. It's like it's trying to do... Oh, man. That's so annoying. Anyway, all right. Today has been a super ADD moment. I, I've been recording... Uh, let's see. What time is it? I've been recording for ten and a half hours. Yeah! I'm ready to go to bed. Let's get this done. Turn it on. Oh, yeah. And this... Of course, of course it goes fast. Oh, yeah. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. What am I doing? What am I doing? Fill the vehicle. Uh, let's see. Isn't there a straw chaff silage grass straw chaff timber? Hang on. Isn't there a let's see. Known. There's something. You can see down there at the bottom right hand corner. There's like a, a silage piece that's missing. Fill vehicle. Yep, yeah, that's what we want. Chaff, silage, grass window, straw. No, it's none of this. Okay, well, I guess maybe it doesn't hold silage additive? Whatever. We're, we're just gonna go. We're gonna go. Is it gonna work? Hey, it's working! Yeah! <clears throat> now we just need to straighten it out. Gun it. And go. So there it is. It is working. And it is working really, really well. What I might end up doing is leasing uh, another set of these. So I'm going to go and hire a worker right now and see how this does. So this seems to be working just fine. This is working A-OK. -okay. All right. Yep, that's good. So what I'm going to do is I think go around. Oh, it's going to take a while, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Uh, I'm going to hit two headlands and then we're going to go buy another one of these and hire it on a worker and then wait like i don't know 10 hours or whatever it's gonna take to get this field done it's gonna take forever guys we've already got 44 we're almost at 50,000 liters already well that's gonna be fun i forgot about that i might draw some grass around that just to just to cut out the idea but yeah we're we're almost now up to 60,000 liters 
I, yeah, I, I got a pretty good feeling we're going to get over, plenty over a million liters. And each one of these trailers holds a million liters as well, so. Oh boy, wish me luck. This is going to be a lot. back so we've got 415 ish thousand liters in here so i've only got 40 plus percent done I haven't even finished my two headlands yet this trailer holds 1 million liters just you know just fyi just to let you guys know what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna finish running these two headlands i'm gonna do a little flip right here and then i'm actually gonna hire this guy going back and forth on the run that we just finished right there. So if we turned around right now, that's where they're going to be going. Figure that's going to be the easiest thing to do because workers, they like straight lines, more or less. Well, guess what? I can go hit the top and I can go ahead and square it off and start hitting all the spots that are maybe not so squared off. So I think that's going to be the best thing for me to do. So there is that. We've got that. 46 thousand or 460 almost now 470 thousand liters in here that's a lot man that's a whole lot i'll tell you what i might do i might use this as mine because i can take this and dump it the other one's not going to fill up half as fast let's do it let's go ahead and reset the set Let's get some extra stuff. Come on, let, come with, come along with me. Let's do this. So we want to go into four harvesters. We want to get the class version right here. Big, 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 big. Uh, let's see. You know what? Just for fun, we'll go Continental tires, long pipe, no license plate. We'll go and lease that, and then we want to go into actually we we want to go into DJ Go Ham mods. Where's in, mods and installed? All right. So here's my pack that I've put together. Here's the header that goes in that pack. And then I've got a loading wagon around here somewhere. We want to find loading wagons. Here they are. And then there, well, here rather, is the one. So this will hold either 1 million or 10 million liters. I don't know if I want to run 10 million, but there's a whole lot of corn in that field. So I'm thinking 10 million is probably the way to go, at least with this one. Let's go with a BKT wheel. That's looking good. No wind row because we don't need it. As far as main color, this is going to be cloth. Design color. I think I'm going to make this backwards from the one that I'm using. So at least I'll know which one's which. Uh, I've been using Fent wheels for the cloth wheels. And that seems to be doing okay. So no, uh, no issues there. All right, let's go ahead and lease that and pick it up so you can see this one's got a, a black kind of design on it where the other one's got a white design so at least i'll know which trailer switch just by looking at them there's that and then we'll hook up here one of the great things is these forge wagon or the uh, forge harvesters they will hook up to a plethora of different things so that is good we'll go ahead and take the trailer down about as far as we can go pipe out Make it run it, recognize. There we go. Cool. Hey, this is going to be all right, guys. This is going to be all right. This will take some time, however. It's going to take a long time. Uh, I'm going to be going back and forth on this field. I'm not going to be recording it. I'm just going to be doing it. So, take a good look. Because this is definitely not what this is going to look like when I'm all said and done. So here's another thing to help your workers out a little bit. So I kind of followed them at least on their first pass and they stopped right here. So this tells me that this worker really doesn't want to have to deal with all of this going on here. They don't think they can turn around but good enough. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit either two or three more passes down here at the end. That way the workers can work with confidence. I 
can have confidence in the workers knowing that they're going to do their job without totally messing it all up. Even though they are workers, they are idiots, they're AI, actual idiots. <laughs> all right, I think two, uh, two passes is probably good enough. We'll go ahead and hire it back on a worker. Hopefully he does a good job. I know he's going to miss some areas on the other side. I don't want him to. This, this is going to be nerve wracking. So little check in with you guys. I'm doing pretty well, surprisingly enough. So we've gotten this section up here. I'm just going back and forth because I kind of want to get both of these on the same track and meet them in the middle. As far as our other guy, he's doing a really good job still. I mean, shockingly, I'm sure, but he's doing just fine. As you can see, he hasn't missed anything down at the ends. Nothing. Uh, I do have this bit right here where the trees are, but yeah, it's neither here nor there. Now, I could probably let the worker turn around right here, but I just don't trust him yet. Ooh, large-scale supplier. Nice. Don't know what that is, but uh, cool. Thanks for the uh, accomplishment. So I've just been going back and forth, hiring a worker. Oh, boy. Just ran over that, didn't I? Sure did. Sure did. Good job. All right, let's try this again, but this time with... A little bit less messing up. All right, there we go. So I'm uh, just going back and forth here, trying to do this the best I can. And uh, hopefully these two harvesters will meet each other in the middle. This one is definitely, definitely going to fill up first. So we're not done yet, but I did get 1 million liters in here. <laughs> so we've done pretty well there. Uh, as far as this guy, he's at 745, 6, 7, 8, 9, yeah, 750, 750 thousand liters he's doing a okay ourselves however we should really get this over and get it out so it's chaff time baby it's chaff time one million liters going in uh i think i said at the beginning that it was going to be more than a million liters and hey good to know i was right <laughs> one thing i am going to do is i'm going to detach this from the uh forge harvester and I'm going to use probably the larger Kloss... Uh, Syrian? Axian? Something. I use one of the tractors over here. Probably the one that's on the mower right now. And that's going to make that a little bit easier for us. So let's go ahead and drop it. There's that. And I guess it's just going to keep driving forward. Huh. Well, that was fun. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> There we go. The Axiom 960. This is the largest one that we've got that's not one of the other guys. Those are going to be used later on, but we're not going to use those tractors today. Uh, of course, we got the wheel loader so we can make it look nice and pretty, but I don't think we're going to need to use it. We might use the wheel loader. I've got it. So, hey, worst comes to worst, that. But I think otherwise, this is going to be fine right here. Let's take this. Let's do it. So this is the first time that I've poured chaff into a uh, silage bunker this game. I haven't done this in Farming Simulators 22 yet. So let's do it. I'm just going to start at the back corner right here. Seems like that's going to be the easiest thing to do. I think this will dump out at about, I think it's 100,000 liters a second. I don't think we need it to dump out that quickly. But, you know, <clears throat> something more than like a thousand yeah, see, this is this is just fine right here. This is good. This is good. This is exactly what I was wanting. We'll go ahead and stop that there. And then I'll pour on the next one to the side. I'm going to bring you guys along with me <clears throat> on this process, even though I can't breathe, because I think it's important for you guys to be able to see this part of things. And maybe this will help show you something. Uh, I don't know what you can learn from this. I'm an idiot. But... It's fun, at least, so there's that. And to show you, so that's half a million liters right there. That's what half a million liters looks like in this bunker. So maybe that's more than you thought it was gonna be. Maybe it's less than you thought it was gonna be. Um, but what I know is that means we're gonna be able to make four runs back and forth with this trailer. Okay, so there's that, 227,000 left. That's a lot of chaff in there. That is a whole lot of chaff. And that's going to be a lot of driving back and forth, making it nice and smooth and and uh, orderly. 
And I think this is going to come to the side a little bit. Yeah, it's going to stack it just a little bit higher than I wanted it to. That's okay. Neither here nor there. And we're going to be out in just a second anyway. So there it is. Okay. We are out. That's that. All good. Rock and roll. Getting close. Not too far now. Not too far at all. Uh, look at that. After two passes, we've already got another 60,000 liters in here. There's so much chaff, man. There's so much chaff. Do you guys want to take a uh, take a guess on how much our other harvesters got? I'm going to say 1.1. Uh, oh, 1.05. That was close-ish. It's close enough. I think it's funny it's only 10% in here, too. <laughs> but it just goes to show you, this... This is, this is, it works. It's all right. That's all right. Let's go back over to our guy because this dude definitely needs our help as much as possible. But obviously we do not have much left. So this ain't going to take long. I'm going to go ahead and finish this field up. We'll see you when it's done. And we're going to make our way over to the silage pit because we got a lot of work to do on that thing. And this is it. the final bit. I only had three pieces that this worker missed. Man, oh man. So there we go. We've got a total of 1.3 million liters in here. We've got another, I think, two or 300,000 in the trailer that we've already moved over. So that's going to be, see, one, two, 2.6 million liters, something like that. There's a few. There's a few million. Oh, you know what I just realized? This isn't going to be fun to try and put in the digester. I'm going to be selling silage for the next like three years. <laughs> That's going to suck, isn't it? Sure is. That's going to just be the awfulest. All right. So 1.3 in there. We jump in here. We've got another basically three. So 2.6 million liters. Oh, yeah. Oh, come stop stupid comma. Quit trying to hire workers and stuff. Every time you hire a worker, it starts unfolding. It turns on. There's all kinds of crazy stuff. Oh, boy. I'm going to go ahead and beat this worker against the wall. We'll go ahead and do the trailer that's got 300,000 liters in it first, even though the 300,000 liters looks like more. That's funny. I've got two different capacity trailers here, in case you caught that. You've, you've caught that. I tell you, my ADHD is not being nice to me today. It's... It's a problem, and I don't like it. I don't like it one bit. Let's see if we can at least fill out the bottom portion of this, and then we'll be able to swing back around and hopefully get some other stuff. Also, one thing I'm noticing with this new update, things don't like to break as much as they used to. And by break, I mean stop. <laughs> I break things, but I break things and actually break things. Um, yeah, I don't know what's going on. Don't like it. I know that much. I'm very aware of that statement. And then we'll kind of back up in here and we'll dump a little bit. And that is good. That is that and that is there. So let's bring this out of here. We don't need this anymore. However, we do need to keep it. Thanks. Oh boy, I'm going to have to start getting used to that. I know it was at 17 they would move when you let them go, but not that bad. And then in 19, they would just stop on a dime like you ran into a brick wall. And now in 22, they roll like they've been oiled up and ready to go. Oy. <laughs> what are you going to do, man? What are you going to do? So we got 1.3 million liters here. This is going to empty at the same speed as the other one. So nothing crazy. We're not going to see anything wilder like a, you know, a 1 million liter dump in like 0.2 seconds. But what is going to be fun is trying to back this thing up into here. There we go. Come on. I know we got a little teeter tot. We need to move. We need to move. Well, I guess that's one way to do it, ain't it? Nah, crap. Don't tell anybody I'm Superman. It's uh, something that I've tried to keep quiet for, you know, a what? Let's go ahead and turn that off. There we go. Uh, it's something I've tried to keep quiet, you know. I don't like everybody knowing that I am, in fact, the real Superman. So, you know, if you guys could just help me keep that a secret, that would be awesome. All right, so there is our 
First run, I think that's probably gonna work well. How much do we have? 1.1 million liters left in here. I'm not gonna do a good job putting this in here, but hopefully whatever we use to, <laughs> to flatten this out does a better job, at least of helping me. There you go, all right, cool. So this is the way that I do it. I just start at the back of the, uh, the back and rock and roll. Sometimes you can have more than this. Sometimes you have a little bit less than this. It all just depends on how much you want to do. So there we go. Run it through. So I'm going to go ahead and see if I can go and get this trailer emptied out. And then we will attempt to start the uh, process. Oh, it's going to be a long process. I got like 17,000 liters I'm trying to get rid of here. And it's just not happening. All right. I think that's it. There we go. If we turn on our help window, we can see... 2.6 million liters of chaff in here. Now comes the fun part. We could do this a couple different ways. I think the way that I'm going to do it. Uh, number one, let's go ahead and return least item number one, two, and three. There we go. So there's that. And let's get this trailer out of the way. I think what I'm going to do, at least to start with first, I'm going to go the wheel loader approach. So we're going to take the wheel loader that we've got over there and uh, push stuff forward. So we we'll pick up like a big, big chunk and then push it all up. As a matter of fact, I think that this will do it too. I think because we can use this. Oh yeah, that, that might be exactly what we want to do. We can put the roller on the back. Again, don't tell anybody I'm Superman. I'd rather keep that under wraps if can. Let's go ahead and turn off my Superman superpowers. And we'll pull forward and we'll get this. Because I think the uh, the leveler right here will work just about as good as the wheel loader will. It might actually work a little bit better in our case. What we're trying to do is we're trying to take stuff from the front and push it to the back. So we'll go ahead and unfold that. We'll go ahead and unfold the back. And uh, I guess we'll just start the way we started the last time. Back here. Back corner. This should work, right? I don't think this will work. Jump that down. And then we can start maneuvering this in a way. Yeah, you can you can kind of see how it's doing, huh? And let's enable auto or all-wheel drive steering. Come on. Come on. You know you want to. There you go. Yes, sir. So then we, uh, we just want to push as much of this back towards the back as we possibly can. And uh, that's kind of working. Yeah, okay. So it is working. I maybe don't need to have the back portion up, the roller, just yet. But this is working uh, dramatically better than it worked in Farming Simulator 19. I am loving that. So just to help us out here, just to be kind to ourselves, let's go ahead and drop the rear Hilaris. We've got the front one. And let's see how we're able to get along here. Can we get this entire piece and, and bit right here pushed towards the back? Kinda. So this is, this is working. So there is that. However, it's not quite working exactly the way that I wanted it to, if that makes any sense. So I think I might go grab that wheel loader and, uh, utilize it just for this part because i am not doing well come on dj don't get stuck right there there you go yeah all right see we're doing we're doing okay As a matter of fact this works way better if you're pulling it than pushing it that's great <laughs> ah yes the fearsome fearsome wheel loader we're gonna go ahead and enable all-wheel drive on this as well using the enhanced vehicle mod uh that is a been a huge huge lifesaver and then uh, I guess we'll just kind of take a little bit from the front. This holds 9,000 9, liters, so it doesn't hold a ton. But at least it's... I mean, it's enough, right? Yeah, it's enough. Oh, 8,000 liters, not 9,000. Come on. Get up there. There you go. Good, 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 good. So now what we got to do is just kind of start from the back, and this will fill in all of the spots. So there you go. There's that. And now I get to do this about a hundred more times. 
Not looking forward to that. Well, this took a lot longer than I thought it was going to. Uh, about tw 10, 15, 20 minutes real life, something like that. But we're 98% complete. I've just been doing this, going around in circles. And I took all of the extra stuff because I can go way faster doing it this way. 99%? Come on, let's go! Give it a 100, baby! Yeah! I'm gonna drive off the edge because I like to party. Yeah! <laughs> that was way too easy. That should not have been that easy. All right! So we'll get this put away. We'll turn that off and run. Nice! Let's do this. This, so this is our first bit. Of, I don't know how in the world I'm going to get stuff out of here, but uh, blanket the silo. Yes, sir. Let's go. So we got a bunch of silage in here. We've got a bunch of bales over here. That's a whole lot of bales. All the equipment you could ever need and want. We've got 82's TLX. Gonna help us. We got a yawn counter plus one up in here. There's so much happening and this is only episode number 18 we got so much more to do so much more going on oh i forgot to do the grain where's where's my fan there it is there's just so much more going on and i'm having a good time we're doing a lot right now i mean we're we're doing a a whole lot right now so if there's stuff you want to see if you're having fun, if you think I've yawned way too many times during this clip, let me know down in the comment section below. Love to hear from you guys. Oh. <laughs> right, let's get this wheat taken over to the uh, where the, the wheat place. Yeah. And there you go. Back where we've ended so many episodes before. Here, number 18 on Elm Creek. Thank you for watching today. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you had fun. And I hope you thought that that was a crazy corn harvest. If you did, drop a like and subscribe. If you're new and join the GoHam fam, make sure you turn your notification bells on as well so that you never miss daily farming simulator videos here on the channel every day, baby. Let's go. I'll be Ted. Hope you have a great, awesome, wonderful rest of your day. We got two more episodes of them doing another super cut, so stay tuned. I'll be Ted. Hope you have a great day. We'll see you later. Peace.